Man, I hope this ain't upside down. If it is, bear with me, man. I'm trying something new. My least favorite style of video. <sighs> I'll show you. The ones where you gotta show my hideous face and my beautiful comic at once. It's just too distracting. I never feel like uh, it's the same to do that. But I'm gonna talk about Kaiju Max by Xander Cannon, Volume 1, Season 1. Season 1. Don't fuck around. That's season one. Excuse the language. Don't even care about the buy. I'm going to just be real with it. I'm just going to be myself. If you're offended, you're offended. Get over yourself. This world's not about you. It's We're talking about a comic. Anyway, uh, I'm sad to hear that Alan Moore is done doing comics for a while. Um, I'd love to... I made a video, actually tried to make it two times. I got too pissed off making it. So I don't think I'm going to make a video about that or post it. It's It actually really pisses me off. It's like a real trigger for me because that's close to the heart. I actually am a huge fan. That's actually my favorite writer of comics, so really sad to hear that. Kaiju Max. Art and colors and everything. Writing by this very talented artist from Oni Press. Um, it's about giant monsters called kaijus, which are, you know, like Japanese, like Godzilla. And uh, mech robots are in here too, things like that. They also tend to be uh, in those same type of, like, anime type things. To show you a little bit of the art, to show you, a, give you a little taste of it. Got some nice, ooh, uh, nice bright colors, man. That's part of what made me do it. We've been noticing a trend of talking about colors. I personally love some nice, vi uh, bright, vibrant colors. Um, this is just a really cool, fun book. It's about basically giant monsters who go to prison, get put in prison. The main guy goes and gets put in prison. He's this bug type thing, basically, and um, he makes a friend with this goat that isn't particularly tough and it's just a lot of stuff happening in in kaiju max that could be a real uh kind of touchy kind of you know i would want to say it's slightly sad <laughs> you feel for him which is the thing that anime has uh, a real skill for this is not anime however this is more like underground indie type shit um it's very cool i'd have to give it high marks it is on gregor black's shelf so you know i i loved it it ain't gonna be getting a review on gregor Black's shelf if i didn't love it I'd have to give this bad boy my usual rating if it's on Gregor Black Shelf. It's right up there, man. That's a 10. That's a 10. Scoop this up. Go buy Kaiju Max Season 1. It's different from anything else you'll have. That's a really important thing. I don't know why everybody wants standard Stuart Immonen exactly the same artwork or whoever else, Jim Lee, they used to like the style of and everybody would be like that. You know, everybody copies everyone else. So they're mad about... Silver Surfer not having exactly the same art as everyone else. I'm not, and I'm not calling out you, obviously, my dude on uh, CNC. Not at all. I would never be doing that. It was actually somebody else. I, a lot of people on Twitter. I see people on Twitter. But never. I don't have any issue with that channel. And you are more than entitled to your own opinions on it, brother. But uh, I just didn't like that, ever, that so many people were having issues with the art. Because this kind of art has its place, man. It's striking. It catches your eye. And it's not exactly the same as everything else, which is a very good. Now, this looks like it'd be a kid book, but it's not. So, anyway, let's just say Kaiju Max. It's got the 10, man. It's me telling you, check out Kaiju Max. Hopefully, this ain't upside down. If it is, I guess we'll see you on the flip side.